Third method I want to share with you today is to seek for the mind. To actually go out and not out, but go in, but look for the mind. Try to find the mind. Has anyone found it yet? It's funny, right? Because it bothers us pretty much 24-7. But we can't even find it. The act of purely looking for the mind puts you in a state of recognizing the awareness that you are and reveals the mind to be empty and essentially non-existent. So it's another hack, if you will, to directly, immediately contact the space of self, the space of the subject. And then you can just deepen in that. But try to find the mind, and that very act of looking for the mind will reveal to you a greater awareness, a greater space that doesn't change, that feels at peace and at ease, and it starts to radiate a feeling of ease soothing feeling of relaxation and love into the body and the mind, even though the mind's not there. So look for the root of the mind, and you'll find there is no mind. There's only the self. There's only the isness of God, the presence of the Creator. So next time the mind drives you crazy, makes you anxious, makes you fearful, makes you feel lonely, makes you feel whatever it is, disconnected in some way, shape, or form. Look for the root of the mind that's doing that. And the act of looking for it will make it disappear. It's really quite funny when you see it. The act of looking for the mind makes it disappear. And then there's nothing but space and awareness at rest. And then you can deepen in that, surrender to that, and make it more awake. Be more aware of it. Feel into it more. And the brightness is turned up. 